All right, so chances are if you're here, you're probably running into a bit of an issue when you're trying to log on to your Citrix environment from your IJO client. And just to show you what I'm talking about, you're probably seeing this error in that you're receiving some type of ser server certificate error. And literally it says, have you installed your root certificate? So you might be asking yourself, well, why am I seeing this? And really it's exactly as it sounds, right? You need to upload your root your intermediate in your wildcard cert for your internal storefront environment because the IJO clients by default doesn't use your certificate authority and they don't have that built into their their OS so we need to add that manually so to do that we need access to the IJO universal management suite so if you don't have this that's going to be your first step you need to get this spun up you need to install it and you need to have this UMS server to be able to do what we're about to show you so let's first jump over to the domain controller because the first thing we need to do is we need to actually grab those certificates that are required for the Citrix environment. So I mentioned before we need a root certificate, uh, intermediate certificate from that certificate authority as well as a wildcard cert. So I'm gonna go to MMC, I'm gonna add a remove and snap in, and I'm gonna go to certificates and choose, choose add, select computer account, and finish hit okay here let's go ahead and expand that and i'll make this full screen just to make it a little bit easier to see let's go to trusted root certificate authorities and let's find that certificate authority in your environment and we'll choose all tasks and export so we want to choose base 64 that's very important that's a format that um, i is looking for from what i've been told at least from various IGO sales engineers. So let's go to wherever you want to store it. We'll call this one DC root. Name it whatever you want. The name you convention doesn't matter. And now let's go to intermediate certificate authority. Same thing. Properties. Oh, not properties. Um, all tasks. Export. Choose next. Base64 choose your location and I'm going to call this one DC intermediate and choose next and finish. Now I'm going to go grab that wildcard certificate that's located on my storefront server and I already have MMC opened here. The difference being is this is going to be under personal rather than root and intermediate. So I'm going to choose my wildcard here, all tasks, export and base 64 and I'm gonna store it in that same location as before. So on my DC, and I'll call this one, let's overwrite this wildcard new, and next and finish. So now that we have all the certificates, let's jump back over to the UMS server. And I'm gonna to go to my DC, let's refresh, and let's bring over the DC intermediate and the DC root. Yes, we're gonna replace the files because I have new ones. The wildcard new, same idea, replace the files. And I'm gonna minimize this. All right, so now we have all the files on the UMS server. Now we need to upload these files into the UMS. So to do that, you go down to files, you choose new file, and you're gonna to browse to your certificate. So it doesn't matter which order, I'll start top to bottom. So I'll choose intermediate. And for the classification, we want to choose common certificate, all purpose. That way we don't have to worry about what it is. Um, oh, it looks like I already have one there, so it's giving me an issue, so that that's fine. Let's go to the next one. Let's choose DC root. Same idea, common certificate. That one added just fine. New file, wildcard new common certificate. All right, so we have now the files there. I already had the intermediate, so I'll just use this one. And now that we have it there, we actually need to assign it to that client, to that desktop. So this is my object here. And to assign it, it's very easy. Just drag and drop. I'm gonna apply the updates immediately so I don't have to reboot it. Choose an intermediate there as well. And let's move over that wild card. So now all of them are added. You'll see them here. 
this, there's a sign certificates on the right there to the object. So now if we go back to the client, we can apply the changes immediately. And when I go to my Citrix environment and launch my receiver, this time it should log me in automatically and show me all of my applications and desktops. And there we go, no longer a certificate issue. I can go ahead and open up one of my virtual applications, let's say Notepad, and should be good to go. So if you do have any questions or if you do run into any issues, feel free to comment in the comment section below and hopefully myself or somebody else who's watching this video can help you out.